Hey guys, it's Jackpot G Lars. Uh, I finally didn't have too good of a day today. I'll show you guys the finds in a second. Um, I took videos of them, but I'm not. I'm gonna show um, other videos from around Christmas break. That's why the video is gonna be vertical today, cause I held the phone vertical back then, cause I'm a dunce wagon. But um, I went to this school field, and it it was like the best school field I ever had. But the neighbor kept calling the school on me, so I had to ask the superintendent. Um, or whatever, the main guy, so then I could go back. Um, so I'm going to have to get around to that. But uh, anyway, I made some really good finds there, and I figured since I didn't find anything too good today, I would uh, make that little video because it, it's pretty sick. I was I was really happy that this day, and I was so upset when when the neighbor came out and was like, Hey, get out of there, or whatever. But um, yeah, I'll show you guys that. These are the only finds I made today. Just jumping around from uh, hunted out spots. I got this knife blade. It's pretty interesting. I got one wheat penny, 1958D, the last year they made them. I didn't really clean it off, but you can see 1958D. I got a lead, uh, lead seal bale. I mean, a lead seal for a, It's like an old receipt that they used to use on uh, when they would send like bales of hay. And there's shit bales of hay, so that's pretty old. That's cool. And I got I got this interesting button, but the other side is toaster oven. So that's still cool. And then I got this, I think it's a little tiny lead musket ball thingy, maybe. It's pretty interesting. That's really all I got for today. But uh, now to show you guys the really cool video. It's silver on silver on silver on silver. Get ready. Jackpot G Lars, I'm at that uh, elementary school honey hole spot where I got all those old coins. And uh, I got a worn nickel today so far and I just hit silver. It's a, th it's a thimble. You can tell it's silver. It's gonna probably be stamped on the inside. It's very decorative and that's my second silver thimble. That is so awesome, that is so pretty. Let's see if we can find some more. Jackpot G Lars. I'm at that um, field by, the, uh, by a library where I kept getting the Indian head pennies and uh, buffalo nickels and war nickels and I finally just got silver and it's a really cool one. It's a seeded, it's my second seeded, 1876. Let's see if we put it in the dirt if we can get it better. It's just started getting dark here, but that's my second CD. I have 1875. This is 1876, my second oldest silver coin. That's awesome. Didn't even like ring up silver. Let's see if we can find some more. That is amazing. Jackpot G Lars. I'm still at the same place where I got the seed of dime, and I just got a weird silver spill. It's a part of a spoon. It's the handle of it. I see where it says sterling right up there. That's cool. And now there's something else in the hole. And it was a barber dime. Let's see the year. 1911. That's awesome. A 1911 barber dime. To go with my seated. I wish it would focus. Pretty cool, huh? Let's see if we can find some more. These are the finds all cleaned up. You can see how shiny that barber dime is. It's an amazing condition. The seeded dime's a little rough, but it's still sick. The, the The school was built in 1879, I believe, and then the kids started using it in 1884. Um, so I figured that seeded dime was probably dropped around 1900, 1910 maybe. And that barber dime was probably dropped in 1914. I thought it was 1911, but it was actually 1914 when I cleaned off the dirt. I'll show you the seated first. This is my second oldest silver coin. An 1876 seated Liberty Dime. And it's in a lot rougher shape than my other seated dime. But it's still sick. Still shiny though. Real worn thin. 
It didn't even ring up silver. I think at the time it rang up 53, a faded 53. I was digging everything there. <laughs> and then this was the worst signal I've ever gotten that ended up being such a good thing. I got this, I thought it was a spoon handle. It's actually, it's not, it's something weird. It's got iron on the inside and it had like an iron, like crusty knob coming off. And uh, like, and it was ugly, so I just broke it off because it was like taking over the silver and like splitting the silver you could see there. But um, it says sterling, right? Sterling, and then on the other side, it also says sterling. It's so it's it's weird. It's like a a really thick plating. It's like a hollow th sterling handle with like iron inside. So I have no idea what that could be. If you guys know, let me uh, comment. That'd be very helpful. And then mixed with that, so that signal was a 55 to 75 signal. And then I got this first. And I, I thought maybe there'd be more pieces, so I put my pinpointer in the hole. And it, I had something in the, the bottom corner of the hole, and I flicked it out, and it ended up, and this popped right out. And, and I was like, no way. I was so hyped. A 55 to 75 signal turned out to be this. It's a 1914D. And this dime is in amazing condition. It's got a couple little scratches. I didn't rub it or anything. It just came out so clean. Amazing. And then what I think is the, f the find of the hunt, my second ever sterling thimble. It doesn't say sterling on it like my other one, but I know for a fact it's sterling. This was like 10 inches, 11 inches down, and it rang up a really faded 80 to 90. So I knew, I was like, that's got it. I thought it was going to be a silver quarter. But I was, I was happier when it was this. Look how decorative that is. It's got little boats and sunset. It's got this the size. It's smaller than my other thimble, but it weighs more because it's thicker. It's perfectly round. It's pretty amazing. All those boats. It's like a little castle thingy. A little lighthouse. That's probably what it is in a house. <laughs> On a hill. That's amazing. This is probably this is probably older than this is probably around the mid eighteen hundreds than if it's not stamped. Amazing. Well I hope you guys like those silver finds. <laughs> I really, I, it was, this was probably one of my best haunts ever. I had a great time. I hope you guys liked the video. And uh, I'll see you guys next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Sorry about uh, the vertical video. But, um, good luck guys and happy hunting.